today we have the Dr. Dreadful Scrabs and Guts game. The gross game of real science fix. It's a gross game, but not as gross as grossology. Or is it even grosser? Dr. Dreadful Scrabs and Guts game. Packed with interesting sometimes disgusting bodily fix. Has questions. All about the human body. The human body is cool. The human body is amazing. And it's all human body is a totally gross. Discover the secrets of how your body operates in this hilarious, gross, amazing, awesome, cool, Dr. Dreadful game. It's just what the doctor ordered. Doctor, doctor, Mr. PhD. Play the grossology game. Discru wait. Play the scribs and guts game. The gross game of science facts. Like there's only two genders. So you got these tokens. You got the lungs, the heart, the liver. The guts. You gotta have guts to play this game. Guts. You got all these curds. But no way. What? Way to go. There's no curd. You got stomach. Can you stomach this game? You got brains. You gotta have brains to be smart enough to play this game. Livers. Lungs. Heart. Heart. Look, there's the rules, like, really, literally right on the box, so that's amazing. Player guide. Question cards. Quick rules. I mean, that's the game. That's the game. Game. Game on. So you got, like, these questions. And uh, they're based on different types of things. You got scrapes and scrab questions, blood and guts question, blubber or bluff questions, and pick a category questions. So you got like a million cards. Okay, it's not really a million cards, but there's a lot of cards. I mean, a lot of cards. I mean, there is like a Totally, I mean, I mean, seriously, look at this big old deck of cards. So we'll just, okay, some of these are like show us cards, but we'll just do like a, um, so like the questions are here, like let's just do one random one for a minute. It's like, it's common for kids to get how many colds per year? Uh, it's multiple choice, 2, 8, or 11. It tells you 8, and that's nothing to sneeze at. Achoo! Are you sure? Uh, move ahead, 3. Um, we also got dark yellow urine as a sign that you've been doing what? Multiple choice questions. The three answers are not drinking enough fluids of any kind, drinking lemon juice, or eating bananas. Uh... Drinking plenty of water and fluids will keep you you in the right color. I drink a lot and my urine's still yellow, so I don't know what they're talking about. How many teeth does an adult usually have? 28, 30, or 32? According to this, adults usually have 32 teeth, mostly in their mouths. So it has some jokes, too. Most of their teeth are in their mouths. I hope that's where their teeth are. Anyway, then you also have the, the game. Man, look at that. Check that out. Check them out. There's his feet and his head from head to toe. He's a crazy guy. Head to toe. So you start up here. 
and you go down and you got to answer a question you know based on the space basically you got to answer a question of the space and then every turn you answer a question you can move a space so you can either move one space and answer that question or you can answer a question and you move like whatever it says spaces basically and you go down and then you go up and it has this interesting little uh, statement it's like Albert Einstein's eyes were removed during his autopsy in 1955 and were put up for auction in 1994. Earwax stops your ears from getting dry and itchy and can help prevent infections. Good laugh can increase blood flow to your heart up to 45 minutes. Your liver performs over 500 functions, which is good reason to look after it and not drink alcohol. Farts are are made in your intestines, a gas that comes from sources like air, food, and drinks. It's true, tight clothing can restrict the normal functioning of your internal organs. Your femur is the strongest bone in your body. It is stronger than concrete. Each of your feet contains 28 bones, 33 joints, 107 ligaments, and 19 major muscles. Good to know. With roughly 250 million sweat glands on a pair of feet it's a good reason to keep those sneakers on everyone is born without kneecaps but don't worry they develop after a couple of years and that's the the uh game you go so you basically kind of start and finish at the same spot ain't that cool it's a cool game Remember, uh, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. He, God, is the great creator and developer of this amazing human body from the in outside, from what you can see, to all the stuff inside that you can see, too. That you can't see, I mean. But you can see it now because science is showing you it. It shows you, it, like in this picture, it shows you the bones, it shows you the muscles, it shows you vital organs and skeletal structure. This one didn't do a much of a blood vessel showing, but you know, you got blood vessels too and different things. This is a basic, a little bit of a kid's anatomy. You know, but the God, amazing, in his infinite, awesome wisdom, is the one who created the human body. And contrary, it was intelligent design, contrary to those crazy atheists with their crazy logic. Real science are, is is more on the fact that there is intelligent design. Fake science is uh, that evolution. Brains. Goods. Livers. Heart. Boom, 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 boom. Stomach. I'm hungry. Lungs. Breathe in and breathe out. Some days you just live in. So, uh, pretty interesting game. Hope you enjoyed this Dr. Dreadful game. And remember, God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And, uh, have a great, wonderful day, everybody. Have a great day. 
Laters. Game on. Keep on gaming. God's good. He's good because he made the amazing human body. Isn't that a good thing? And the amazing human body can take care of itself. If we take care of it and eat healthy and eat right and exercise and live right and, you know, don't do stupid, dumb stuff and uh, all that good stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah. It's great. God is great. Because the human body is great. Anatomy is awesome. Anatomy is amazing. Um, Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is a great physician. So, uh, he can heal anything from sin. He heal came to heal sin, but he can heal everything in between, too. Um... Check it out. It's got some, uh, it's got, uh, some pictures on the cover I just noticed. Cool, amazing, gross, fun bodily facts. Okay, it says the same thing on all four sides. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day, and, uh, hope you enjoyed this game. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Comment down below. And oh, yeah, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The dreadful doctor's away, too. And the nice ones. Uh. Unless, of course, you live in a system with socialized medicine. Then nothing you do will keep the doctor away because you'll have to have scheduled doctor's appointments and you'll have to go to the doctor anyway. So a doctor a day no longer keeps the doctor uh, a doctor a day. Cut! Y'all didn't hear that. That didn't happen. Uh, bloopers! An apple a day still don't keep the doctor away because now everybody has to go to schedule doctor's appointments. Uh. I, I hardly ever go to the doctor. I haven't even gone to the doctor in like years. I haven't took I haven't took any of the vaccinations in years. I haven't even took the flu shot in years. And I'm still alive and living healthy. Hmm, maybe it has something to do with the fact that your body can take care of itself if you just live a healthy life and you won't have to actually, I don't know, take a whole lot of medicines and drugs and vaccines don't work and go to vaccinetruth.com. <laughs> I didn't say that. You didn't hear it. Shh. And, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, y'all probably haven't watched this far anyway, so it don't matter. Anyway, but having a great day later.